It can be said that exploring culture and customs is always something every tourist wants to experience when visiting any country in the world. The unique and distinctive characteristics of each nation's culture create interesting and distinctive experiences, especially can't be mistaken with any other place. This video will be information about villages with the strangest and most horrifying customs in the world. I am Honey Badger. Watch the entire video so you don't miss any interesting facts about these customs. If you have any other interesting information, share it in the comments section and consider subscribe to help the channel grow. Ghost marriage is a horrifying custom in China, as it involves a marriage ceremony between two deceased individuals, or between a deceased person and a living person. Although the exact origin of this tradition is unclear, but according to some historical records suggest, it dates back to the Three Kingdoms period. It's said that Cao Chong, the son of Cao Cao, unfortunately passed away before getting married. Out of love for his son, Cao Cao wanted to find a young lady from a noble family who had unfortunately passed away to marry Cao Chong. Sometime later, he learned that the Chan family had a daughter who died prematurely. So Cao Cao approached them and discussed the matter. Then they chose a good day and month to hold a ghost wedding, then a funeral and burial the daughter of the Chan family alongside Cao Chong. Since then, ghost marriage tradition has been widely practiced in the lives of the Chinese people. One of the reasons why this scary custom is still maintained by a part of the people is because in Chinese culture, daughters are not considered their own offspring. When a daughter dies without getting married, there will be no one to worship her. Therefore, out of pity for their daughters, her parents often seek a ghost marriage to pair her, and their child's worship will be taken care of by the husband's family. This case also falls into girls who have reached marriageable age but are still single. To avoid gossip, families with daughters who are considered too old to get married often agree to marry a deceased man, then move in and take care of the deceased husband's family. According to folklore, for men, if they die while still single, they will take a family member with them to the afterlife to keep them company, especially for young men who were engaged in marriage but unfortunately passed away suddenly. In this case, their family must hold a ghost wedding to prevent their souls from disturbing and bringing bad luck to the family. There are also cases where some families marry a wife to their deceased son for inheritance reasons. Because when the deceased has a wife on paper, the family can find a nephew in the family line to adopt as the deceased's son. Then, the nephew will inherit the property and take responsibility for ancestor worship. In general, the ghost wedding ceremony will be similar to a normal wedding. The groom family must give gifts to the bride family. All food and drinks are real, only clothes and jewelry are fake and will be burned after the ceremony. If both the bride and groom have passed away, they will be represented by dolls. During the ceremony, the dolls will be treated and conversed like living people. Then the bride and groom families will choose a good day to exhume the grave and the girl will be buried next to the boy that she was married. Nowadays, although banned and considered illegal, ghost marriages still exist in some remote rural areas, which are places suffer from large remnants of outdated customs in China. Some wealthy families in the countryside are still willing to spend large amounts of money to buy a ghost bride for their son. For that reason, this outdated custom has transformed and led to other evils and crimes, when many people for this huge profit have dug up graves, traded corpses, and even killed innocent people. It's estimated that a recently deceased woman's body corpse sold on the black market can cost up to $30,000. Eating the Ashes of the Dead in Brazil and Venezuela Hidden deep in the Amazon rainforest, on the border between Venezuela and Brazil, is the home of the Yanomami Indian tribe, also known as Yanam or Senema. This tribe has a population of about 20,000 people, with around 200 villages. Forming the largest tribal group in the Amazon rainforest, they live in relative isolation. The Yanomami tribe is believed to have appeared in the 17th century. To this day, they still live as wild as before, with hunting, farming, and their only commercial activity is trading cotton and tobacco. Due to their extremely isolated lifestyle from the outside world, 
So the Yanomami community still maintains many strange and scary customs. Among them is the custom of eating the ashes of the dead. The Yanomami people do not consider death as an inevitable part of life. For them, someone's passing is believed to be caused by a rival tribe's shaman send an evil spirit to attack. People here believe in the existence of the spirit world. When a member of the tribe passes away, they find any way to keep that person's spirit around. And they believe that performing this ritual will allow the deceased person's body to merge with the living person's body, help the departed soul gain more strength to endure the trials on the journey to the afterlife. When someone in the tribe passes away, the people will begin to perform the rituals to send them to afterlife. However, not everyone is allowed to participate in these rituals. Only men and respected individuals in the tribe are allowed to participate. They are required to bathe and clean all items, including knives and bows they carry with them. When the sun sets, these individuals will proceed to cremate the deceased on the funeral pyre. During this time, they will stay here and continuously light the fire to speed up the cremation process. After this work is completed, the deceased's bones will be put into a mortar and pounded into powder. This powder will be stored in dried gourds and kept in a solemn place in the house. In next year, the Yanomami people will bring the ashes out and process them into many dishes on the memorial day of the deceased. All members of the tribe will enjoy these horrible dishes together and are not allowed to leave anything behind. Let ants bite to celebrate coming of age in Brazil. The coming of age ceremony is always a memorable occasion for teenagers in many countries. But contrary to the usual celebratory parties, the Satere Mawe tribe, living in the Amazon forest in Brazil, has a terrifying ritual to mark this holiday. According to the customs of this tribe, to be recognized as an adult, the young men of this tribe must demonstrate their courage by allow hundreds of bullet ants to bite them. This would be unremarkable if they were not bullet ants, the famous ant species with the most painful bite in the world. The bite of this ant not only causes pain to the victim, but can also cause them to be temporarily paralyzed. However, for the Satare Mawe tribe, being bitten by bullet ants will help the young men practice courage and endurance resilience to overcome fears. In addition to this spiritual belief, they also believe the venom of ants can increase resistance to diseases caused by mosquitoes. To prepare for this coming of age ritual, the elders will go in the forest to catch bullet ants, then soak them in a liquid, like drugging them before putting them into specially woven leaf gloves. The boy's hands will be painted black with charcoal, and parts as the face, abdomen and back will be painted with many patterns. When the ceremony officially begins, the young men will have to wear a pair of gloves for 10 minutes, while the members of the tribe will sing and dance around as a way to help the young men forget the pain and fear. The important thing is, no matter how much it hurts, the young men must remain calm, because if a tear falls, this ceremony must be started again until the young men stop cry. Dance with the Dead in Madagascar Madagascar is an island nation made up of the island of Madagascar and many other small islands located in the Indian Ocean and separated from the mainland by the Mozambique Channel. Not only impressing visitors with diverse natural landscapes and rich ecosystems, this island nation also makes many people curious by a strange custom that is the custom of dance with the dead known as Famadihana. In Madagascar, death is not the end but just another form of life. So every seven years, people here excavate the graves of their loved ones and perform various rituals with the deceased. Specifically, the skeleton will be exhumed and taken out of the grave. People will carefully collect dry bone fragments from the skeleton brought up, then carefully wrap them in new shrouds with the deceased's name written on them. The old pieces of cloth will be given to the women in the family, and these women will place them under the sleeping mat with the hope of bringing good luck to the family. Relatives will offer food and drinks to the deceased, then carry the body on their heads to parade around the gravesite and dance to traditional music. Especially, no one cries or shows sadness, but remains very happy with the belief that they are expressing love and respect for their deceased relatives. Before sunset, the skeleton will be brought back to the grave, then buried along money and wine. In reality, organizing the Famadihana ceremony is quite expensive. 
because each family will need to prepare many things, including elaborate meals for guests and clothing for the living and the deceased. If any family avoids the Famadihana ceremony, they will be considered criminal and looked down upon by the people in the area. Therefore, many poor families in Madagascar have had to save money for many years to be able to afford this ceremony. The bride must cry loudly when she gets married. Usually, weddings are associated with joy, laughter, and happiness, because the bride and groom will start a new life together. However, this doesn't happen to Tujia brides in Sichuan Province, China, because they are forced to cry loudly when entering their husband home. In fact, the tradition of the bride crying at weddings has existed in many regions in the southwestern part of Sichuan Province for a long time, and was popular until the end of the Qing Dynasty. Although it's no longer as popular as before, this custom is still considered a necessary wedding procedure by people in many places, especially for the Tujia people. To be able to cry loudly and sorrowfully a month before the wedding, brides usually have to practice crying for an hour a day. After 10 days, the bride mother will join the crying practice, and the next days will involve all the women in the family. According to the beliefs of the Tujia people, the bride cry at the wedding is a demonstration of filial piety, gratitude, and virtue of the girl towards both families. In addition, the crying is also seen as a blessing for a happy and lucky married life in the future. On the contrary, if the bride doesn't cry on her wedding day, she will be blamed by the groom's family and even looked down upon by neighbors. Those are the most unique and strange customs in the world that I know. I'm Honey Badger. What do you think about these customs? Share it in the comment section and subscribe to help the channel grow. Now goodbye and see you in the next video.